Now then YouTube, welcome back to Derby County Career Mode. Today, we're gonna, I think we're gonna do the full week's worth of recording. Seven games today, and they are going to be against... Home against West Brom and Leeds. Away against West Chef Wednesday. Away against Bristol. Home against Cardiff in the Cup. Home against Watford in the league and home against Sunderland in the league and that will take us as you can see there into um, January and before we start squad hub I'm going to get put a few players on the old transfer list Vickers 29, 66, he's 22, he's younger but I am going to add him to the transfer list. He's retiring at the end of the season, so there's no point. Sorry, Elder I want to keep, he'll do. Nelson, again, he's okay, he'll do. Bradley, mainly to get him off the wage. I am going to put him on the transfer list. That Phillips is alone anyway. Cashin I want to keep. Rooney I want to keep. Niambi. 1.2 mil, Joe Ward 750, Kate Wilson, and my favourite is probably Niambi and Wilson, so I'm going to put Ward on the transfer list, Adams I love, Liam Thompson's okay, but he's aged, you know, 22, Ozo's young, okay, so I've got my CDM, so I'm happy with that, Barkhausen's okay, is he though, Hans back at Taylor, Osborne I want to keep, help mine, have to keep, Tyrese Fauna, yeah, okay. Um, Darren Robinson, not great. Chiroa. Okay, now I've got Collins, who I want on the transfer list. Mendes Lang, who I've got to keep, because I ain't got enough right wingers. Jackson, Yates is on loan. Jan Jan Brown is a youngster with a lot of promise. And then Connor Washington, also on the transfer list. I've done that in the hope that I can sell some players and get um, some youth players brought through with that. Um, and then also some free free signings maybe uh, is the plan. Zetas room anyway in net back four of Wilson, Nelson, Cashin, Elder, midfield of Osborne, Adams, and Robinson. Then up front, Blackett, Taylor, Dan Jam Brown. And Tom Barkhausen on the bench, Josh Vickers, Joe Ward, Jake Rooney, Liam Thompson, Ozo, Harness, and Jerry Yates. Let's see how we do at home against West Bromwich Albion. A game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. But yeah, I was talking again to my mate the other day and I was just like I need to make signings because this this team okay this year doing well but I need to improve it and there's a lot of aging players and maybe some free agents maybe some youth players if I bring them in a tad sooner uh, in between recordings today I might go on to make some uh, instructions for the scouts but yeah I just need yeah, it looks like a some free agency but I'm not I, that, that's simply the players are on the transfer list I am not going to be buying anybody until some people have sold I, as you've seen I can't even uh, extend anyone's contracts I can't even sign youth players I've got that little money I spent all my money renewing contracts and signing youth youth staff Barkhausen Dan Jan Brown couldn't quite get to it really good defending there Callum Elder, Brown, Elder, not quite what I'm after. Osborne does well, Dan Jan Brown, pushed off balance, not a foul, but enough to put him off and force a poor shot out for a goal kick. But yeah, it's a, it's a oh great interception pressing from Barkhausen. You've ran offside, haven't you? I'm going to leave that there. 
Why are you there? What is your benefit of being in that position? Adams, like it, Taylor. And they've got it back now. Robinson. Barkhausen. Good save. We've started strong, and we've, um, you know, last episode was the end of last record session, and it was a good end, but. The rest of it, besides the last episode, wasn't good. Adams. Oh, come on. And that is where the attack will end. Good pressure. Alex Moa. But yeah, there's a couple of players like I don't want to get rid of because they'll do. Th there's, there's quite a lot of not top top tier championship players. There is one or two top tier championship players. I'd be tempted to get rid of Mendes Lang. And. I'll be honest, if I can find a suitable replacement for a lot of these, they're the players that I think I don't need, even if I don't get a replacement. Um, as harsh as that is. Ben Osborne. Um, whereas, ideally as well, one of the first things I'd do, if I have the money, because I don't need to do any negotiations, all I've got to do is pay the callback from loan fee. I'd like to get, Ty get Tyrese Forder back, because... I ain't got enough centre mids. I've got plenty of CDMs. And I've got plenty of left wingers. But in terms of right wingers and centre mids, if Osborne and Houtmine aren't available, I've got Darren Robinson. That's it. So I I'm very conscious of how tough this is going to be but I've done it for a reason I could have just I could have just when I loaded up this career mode I didn't show you the the loading up of it just because I didn't want it to be too boring and too tedious of a first episode oh for fuck's sake Kane I made it I didn't make it like ridiculously hard but I didn't make it ridiculously easy I just said I want fair strictness I don't want I said I didn't put lenient I put fair on both Really good from Callum Elder. Um, and then the same with when it gave me the option to do financial takeover and like, you know, financial leniency and board leniency. It was both, they were both just standard. It wasn't really hard. It wasn't lenient. It was just in the middle. And to be fair, in the middle, it feels like I've gone strict with the leniency because all I could afford was a fucking youth scout and renewing my players fucking contracts and the rest and I'm now bankrupt Barkhausen good from Curtis Nelson they're looking for options in the box Osborne Robinson shot struck well wide though he's not an awful player doesn't really get time for Derby IRL because that, they've got they play a different formation where they, or they just play players wherever they fucking want, to be honest. I can only play them centre mid, and I only have those two positions available. All of the rest of my players are CDMs. They, Derby sort of play a 4-2-3-1. I don't like that formation massively. Elder and Cashin have been done far too easily. And if that was a cross-cub shot, or just a shot, or if it was just a shot, it's a pathetic attempt. And I'm very grateful that it is. Darren Robinson. Nice. nice. Elder to Osborne. Osborne. Barkhausen. Barkhausen. Oh, weak. Very weak. You can all probably tell this is my first game of the uh, recording session because if Barkhausen would have done that two or three days fine, I'll be absolutely flipping my bastard lid. Uh, the fact that he's so weak in possession there. But since the last recording session, I've not played for about six days. I think I'll record that on Wednesday. It's now for the following Monday. I went to Scarborough for the weekend. Um, things in life are improving. Less stress, what's good. So, if you like Rage, might have to wait an episode or two for it to build up. Brown! Good press. And the whistle goes. Free kick awarded. Fair. I'm glad he hadn't booked him, but it's just an honest attempt at getting the ball. I like that from Brown. 
I mean, I don't know quite what the keeper was doing. I don't quite know either what my midfield is doing. Fantastic from Callum Elder. Shit from Callum Elder. Forced him into the shot and forced into a, you know, I trust Vedel, um, Zetterstrom there. Jacob, Jakub, Vedel, Zetterstrom. Fantastic from Adams. That's not fantastic. That's pathetic, in fact. That's fucking joke. Semi Ajay has put West Brom 1 0 up. Brown couldn't clear it in time. Well, well, we're not going to skip it. We're going to watch and talk you through the bullshit you've just witnessed. Uh, went to clear it with Brown. Intercepted. Block. Good block from Adams. Then Ajay here. So, cashing. Why does he look like he's twerking midair? Number one. Number two, the header. I mean, it's a decent header, but pathetic attempt from Zetterstrom. He's got to be up and back quicker to make that save. I think that's poor from Zetterstrom. Right, Brown's coming off. He gave it away initially. Then Adam's shot was very good. Nothing that we could do about that. Cashing weak in the air. Zetterstrom weak in the goal. Brown's tired and wank. Oh, God. Jerry Yates is my replacement. David Ozo for Darren Robinson. Jake Rooney for Erin Cashin. Jerry Yates, all I need is a finisher, and he's, you know, that's all, that's all Jerry Yates is. Well, he's a striker, I guess you could say. Good. Um, I, Yates proved me wrong. That's all I want. That great away result against Luton, and now we're fucking losing at home to West Brom. Ben Osborne, good ball down the line to Corey Blackett Taylor. Blackett Taylor has to hit it because he's got fuck all options. Corner. Mikey Johnston. Oh, free kick. I don't know where this is going, probably straight into the wall. Yeah. Second time lucky. Mm, just wide, it's a good strike. I don't know how to do free kicks at all in this game, and that probably doesn't surprise you after seeing that attempt. An hour gone, and where is my team? Oh, fuck off. Well done, Wilson. I had to. I, I, I thought he'd knock it out, so I just. That was just a sort of a clearance, if you like. Just weak. Come on. Get on it, lads. Switch on your fucking nonsers. So poor. Not got the press right at all tonight. Look at Taylor. Go on, go out, go out, go out. Yes. Cheap, cheap corner. Ben Osborne in. Yates win that. He's won it. Adams, that's good from Adams. Curtis Nelson. Ozo into space. Good block. I don't know what to do. I've not really got much else subwise on the bench. Get a foot in your fucking shit house. Well done, Jake Rooney. Midfielders fucking pussy footing around. Get your foot in. Look, there you do. They're not afraid to fucking hurt you. You fucking man up. Back at Taylor. Good. Good little bit of skill. Took the extra touch. And that'll be a stonewall yeller for him. Don't know who he is. Another four. Callum Styles and is that an injury to Blackett Taylor? No, he's just a wuss. Harness we're going to bring on for him anyway because he's not been great and we're going to bring on Liam Thompson because again Adams has been okay but well no he's not, not after that pass. Those basic pass. 
Well, we win a throw. 15 minutes to go. Bringing off Ebu Adams. Bringing off Corey Lackett Taylor. Bringing on Liam Thompson and Marcus Harness. In hope over expectation, because they're not the best subs in the world, but they're all I've got. I'll take a free kick. Ben Osborne. Ball in. No one there. Osborne weak. No, it's not actually. It's just someone's got a. You can't really do what else there, actually. I'm not. I'm pissed off because I lost the possession. I shouldn't be pissed off at Ben Osborne. I should be pissed off at someone else seeing that. What else can he do in that position? Right. Attacking. Is Elder. Harness. Corner. Sierra tried there, sneaking that through. Ben Osborne. Oh, I knew he was going to block it, so I decided to do a quick fake shot, but no matter what I did there, it wasn't going to work. A little sloppy on the ball there. Liam Thompson, good from him, good pressing. Good ball in. Osborne, he's done well. Just even chest that down there. It's not been good enough in attack today. Well, maybe a bit of game management here. Time starting to ebb away. Wasting time, West Brom. Ah. Come on, quicken it up, you fucking cunts. We're losing. Why is no? Why is absolutely everyone not running and following around the pitch? We've allowed them to keep possession since the 88th minute. Fuck off, you faggots. Unacceptable performance from the boys. I can't blame anyone but them. The scripting wasn't too high. I mean, to be fair, we had enough chances. West Brom weren't great. It was just sloppiness at the back. It was poor, all around poor performance. Just as soon as we get a good result at the end of last episode and start looking up. Just shit, shit, shit. Yet again, time and time again. I need more games. Well, I'm, I've put you on the transfer list. Fuck off. No appreciate your mind about selling me. Uh, I want to build a future here. You're retiring at the end of the season, dickhead. Put me up for sale. I'm glad we agree. You've been decent, but fuck off. I know what you can offer to the team. You have been good. You're one of the better players of a pretty poor fucking squad. Up next, we have got Leeds on the 29th. And then next episode, it'll be Chef Wednesday. And they've got a very good team, so this ain't going to be easy at all. We lost 4 0 to them in the last time we played them, just a couple of episodes ago. So, a disappointing defeat. Shock. And as you can see, they were now 12th. And Leeds are 8th. They're not doing great. I mean, if we win, we've got level on points for you. But I mean, like we're only three points off 17th. I mean, mid table, I'll take. The aim was to avoid relegation. Mid table's not bad. So that's next episode. Like, subscribe, take care. Bye bye.